sex is really interesting from a, from a, a male body perspective because, you know, I'm 43 now. I'm coming uh, into that place in my life where I'm sometimes having hydraulic issues. Mm -hmm. um, I also am, am somebody who has a lot of lovers and, and partners and I've been in open relationships for a long time. Um, so sometimes you're just having a busy week and it's hard, <laughs> it's hard to, to get it up for somebody. But what's really great is like these never, these don't have erectile issues um, and they don't uh, ejaculate prematurely. So it's not like you have to study Taoism and, and the Tantra Garts and learn how to you know, withhold and master your orgasm. Like, just use your fucking hand, dude. Um, and I said, well, I have erectile, use your fucking hand, dude. Um, and so I kind of become this New Yorker, like sex, you know, coach. Where I, it's like, oh, dude, I'm like, just use your fucking hand. Like, you, and well, what if it gets tired? You have another hand. <laughs> and my wife wants a threesome. Use both hands. <laughs> you know, um, so there's, you know, we just don't think about it. And I also think that, you know, for, for men and women, like playing with genitalia, for a lot of us, it's like, I don't want to, like, and I, we were joking, I'm like, you know, I don't want to take up golf, because I don't want to go through that period of being horrible at golf. I don't like what my mind does to me when I have to learn something and I'm already bad at it. And I think a lot of us, some of us, I'll, I'll speak for myself, like, why would you want to try something that's as, as culturally loaded as pleasing the person that you love with something that you think you're bad at? You know, so I think that, that some people don't, do hand sex because they think they might be bad at it or they're just clumsy with clits and vulvas and, you know, or, you know, with, with you know, hand sex on, on men. It's like, what do you do with the nuts? And, uh, you know, so, so it's just easier to just hop on. <laughs> you know, because we know what that's like. And so I think that, that people, there's a tendency that maybe we don't, or I suspect there's a tendency that we don't master things because it's already awkward just trying to figure out what our partner's like because they're not speaking up all the time and then I feel clumsy, you know, and then, you know, for me as a, as a, as a big guy, like, I don't want to hurt people, so, and that has a lot of, I've heard Oprah say there's a lot of nerve endings down there, so what do I do? And so we just kind of shy away from stuff. Um, so that's my theory as, as to why some people are so reticent to try things and, like, these are amazing resources once you get the hang of them. And it's really kind of cool because, you know, for me, it's like, it makes me feel like a freaking stud. And sometimes I need that kind of self-esteem head, you know. And so now I'm like, ah, you know, these are surgeon's hands. Come, come into my office. You know? and, and so I can relax a little bit more in the bedroom, uh, even if, if I can't get it up, because I can just go to these. And then tomorrow we'll talk about, I, go, I can go to this, too. Um, so that's what I wanted to say.